Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Renaissance Man, where Robbie, me, takes you through culture. Alright, so this week we're going to talk TV. Alright, I don't know about you, but a lot of times if I'm not out working out or if I'm not playing video games, I'm watching TV. And today I'm going to give you top, I'm going to give you my top 10 shows worth watching. Okay, these are shows that I watch, and I get, I've got some on the side that some friends of mine got together and they gave me some too. So here we go. Number one, Community. Community, fun-filled show, community college students, ridiculous, probably, probably the most diverse show on TV. They do the most ridiculous things. They do paintball, uh, they do a lot of themed episodes. Nothing but paintball episode, they did an entire episode that was a video game. The entire, entire show was done in 8-bit video game form. It was awesome. Okay, it's just very diverse. Unfortunately, it was on their last season. Um, I wish I could see more out of it, but it's a, it's a show worth watching. Next is Fringe, another show that's going to end after next season. Uh, imagine X-Files mixed with Lost, and that's exactly what you have. Okay, that's Fringe. And it's uh, it started off by J.J. Abrams, um, fantastic writer, fantastic mind, and uh, so it's a great show. Then we have everyone's favorite, Big Bang Theory, where nerds ha have, a, have, a, have a life that we'd like to follow, and we learn that uh, a nerd can actually get a hot girl. Actually, two of them did. So um, it's a lot of fun, very funny. Sheldon Cooper, um, funny, kind of overdone at times, but hilarious show. Next, we have Archer, everyone's favorite animated adult comedy. Uh, super spy, very, uh, very full of quips and very, <laughs> very vulgar at times, but hilarious show. Um, then we have Game of Thrones, based off uh, George Martin's book. Um, if you're not watching this show, you need to go back to North Korea because this show is fantastic. All right, um, no, it's not directly by the book, but it's a fantastic film. Episode nine just filmed, um, and the season finale just filmed. Fantastic end to another great season by Game of Thrones. Then, How I Met Your Mother. Yes, How I Met Your Mother. Jason Siegel is hilarious. Great show. Barney uh, suit up. Um, you've you've learned how to live your life basically. Um, through this show. You know why? Because you have to suit up, you have to be awesome, okay, all the time. And that's what we've learned from this show. Then we have New Girl. Uh, Doe, Zoe uh, Deschanel finally got her own TV show. Um, she is not my favorite part of the show. It's actually her, uh, her roommates. They are hilarious. It's a, just another show that has no central storyline, but it's just funny the situations they put themselves in. Um, the bell ringing episode is still one of my favorite episodes. Um, then we have The Walking Dead, based off another comic book. Um, fantastic show, once again, um, shown on AMC. Uh, this past season ended very crazy. You had no idea what was going to happen. Then all of a sudden we see this jail, and then we see a ninja, a, a ninja woman. And oh my gosh, I cannot wait for the next season. It's going to be fantastic. You need to watch this show if you're not. Then we have Dexter. Um, John C. Hall... Um, is our favorite killer. He is. He is the anti-hero. Um, he is all about killing bad guys and killing whoever gets in his way. Um, but yet we love him for it for some reason. Because I guess because he has a family. I don't know. <laughs> we still love it. Um, it's got another season coming up. Season six was uh, was uh, season five was uh, season six. I'm sorry. Was pretty good. Um, season seven I hope is going to be even even better than it was last season. Then we have Young Justice. In an animated TV series, um, they kind of took Teen Titans and made it more modern, more adult, um, or more face to teenagers, actually. Um, it's a different cast than Teen Titans. Uh, they've had their second season. Um, they've kind of jumbled up a little bit on the storyline, but it's just really cool to see how they do it. The writing's really good. The artwork is very good. Um, it's a great show. Okay, guys, and here is, uh, here's five that my friends gave me to, uh, to tell you about to, that you should go watch as well. Um, the drama Castle, um, the the show Sherlock, the BBC. It's on uh, each season. It's only three episodes long. They're an hour and a half long episodes, though. So you're basically watching three movies back to back whenever you watch the show. Um, then you have Doctor Who, the longest running TV show in TV history, um, which has gone through so many Doctor Who's. I can't even keep count of them. Um, a fantastic show um, that a lot of people really enjoy. Then we have Bob's Burgers, um, which is an animated film, uh, animated TV show. Came on eight, started on ABC last year. Um, a lot of uh, Fox, I apologize, Fox. Um, fantastic show, uh, <laughs> very very funny show. And then we have Alphas, um, very sci-fi um, new film, new show that started last year actually and got a second season coming up. Um, really 
really good show, actually. Um, so, guys, this is the TV shows that I think that you should go out and watch. Um, here's some shows that my friends think you should go watch. Have a great week. Be great. And I'll see you next time.